Hey guys, Jay here with Board of Advice TV, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install a window air conditioner. In my particular scenario, I immediately ran into two problems. Problem number one is that I have a window that slides side to side instead of up and down. And most window air conditioners are designed to fit windows that slide up and down, the hung windows. And problem number two is that I live in a rental property and they specifically ask that I do not drill any holes or put in any screws. That's it for the intro, let's begin. The very first step you wanna do before you do anything else is check if the unit actually works. It's really frustrating when you spend a whole hour sweating and struggling putting this thing in, turn it on only to find out that it's not working. I gotta be honest, that scared me for a second because usually this little louver comes down right away and it took it like an extra five seconds, but it's working, we can proceed. Mm, it feels nice by the way. This window air conditioner is made by Drio for anybody that is interested. It's an inverter air conditioner and it's super quiet. The last window air conditioner that I had was a monster. It weighed twice as much and it was twice as loud, if not four times as loud. After you choose the window that you wanna put the air conditioner into, the first thing you'll need to do is take the screen out if your window has a screen, and most of them come out pretty easy. They'll either have springs, so you have to press down on the window or up, depending on where your springs are. Some of them will have tabs that you have to pull on to take them out, and some of them slide. The slide ones are the easiest. You literally just slide them out of the way and you're good to go. My window screen has a spring on the right side, so all I need to do is press it towards the other window and I can pull the whole screen out. Just look around your screen and it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out how it comes out. Most of them come out pretty easy. By the way, if you're on the 27th floor or basically somewhere high up there, you will need to be a little bit more careful when you're putting the window air conditioner in. First of all, so the net doesn't fall out and fly away. And second of all, so the window air conditioner doesn't plop out and land on somebody's car. If you live high off the ground and you're having a hard time taking your screen out, two things you could try is if you have a strong magnet, maybe hold it with a magnet as you're taking the screen out. That way when it pops out, it doesn't fly away. Or you could just slightly damage it, preferably in a corner or somewhere up on top where it's not as visible and you can patch it up with something. Just take a long needle or maybe even a thin pencil if you have one. Just poke it through and hold it as you're popping the screen out. That way it's gonna be hanging or dangling on that thing when it's out there and it doesn't fly away. You can just drag it right back in. With windows that slide up and down, usually you can get away without making any kind of a bracket to hold that back side of the unit. But with windows that slide side to side, you will need some kind of a bracket to hold that back side of the unit. Amazon sells a bunch of metal window brackets for window air conditioners, so if you want, check those out. I'll add some links in the video description. Father-in-law was in town, in my case, and instead of a metal bracket, he said, oh, no problem. We're gonna make a sturdy frame that, as you can see, I can sit on, that is not going anywhere. So no metal frame for me. We just went ahead and made one out of wood, and this thing is rock solid. Don't worry, we did get permission to put a few screws into the outside wall to hold this window bracket in place. And just quickly, for those of you that are interested, the way we made this wood frame is simply by cutting two short pieces of wood, two long ones, screwing it together with just some normal wood screws, two and a half inch. So once we had our box, we screwed the box into the window frame. There's a piece of wood that goes all the way around the window on all windows. So we used five inch finishing screws, these thin screws to go into there. We used finishing screws because they're nice and thin. When we do take this whole thing off later on, if we're gonna be moving out, it's gonna be really easy to patch those little holes up with some silicone. Lastly, we added the bracket legs and that was pretty simple to do. You just take a piece of wood, line it up here and draw a line just with the box and cut it how you drew it. That way it lines up perfectly, it's flush and you do it the same way on the bottom. Draw your line and cut it there, and when you're done, it should go flush and nice and neat right to the floor. Most window air conditioners will come with the hardware included. You're gonna have some screws and brackets. You're gonna have some foam insulation to fill any cracks or gaps after the installation. You got some adhesive foam insulation, and this is kinda neat. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. And my particular unit also came with some plasticine which is basically some putty that you could use to seal up small holes. By the way, the protective styrofoam that comes around the air conditioner in the package is also really useful to use 
for little gaps and cracks around the window air conditioner. So if this foam is not enough or it's way too soft, you could use this, which is more firm, and it'll seal up those gaps nicely as well. The accordions on this unit are actually plastic. It's like little paneling, which I think is pretty nice. And after the window air conditioner is in place, you would put those pieces of insulation that we saw earlier into them to seal up those little panels. Putting on the accordion brackets is pretty easy. Most of them just slide on. You just have to make sure that the screw holes where you mount it are towards the inside of the house, not the outside. So let's put this on quick. The accordions have little clips at the ends of them and those just clip right into the bracket and that attaches them to it so that when you slide it, it slides in and out with the bracket, just like that. Once we have the accordions and bracket in, we are ready to proceed. By the way, if you have a really narrow window, these accordions are optional. They're just there to fill the gaps. So if you wanted to, you could take them off to help it fit in the window. And just because I know somebody will get this idea, some people ask, hey, if my window is narrow, can I take my window air conditioner and put it vertically? The answer is no, you cannot do that. That will wreck the compressor. And if it somehow works, it will leak water all over the place. So mounting a horizontal unit vertically is not a good idea. By the way, they do sell vertical units. So if you do have a narrow window, you could buy a unit that is vertically shaped that will fit in there a lot better. They do cost twice as much though, and I don't exactly hear rave reviews about them. So if you don't have to, I wouldn't go that route. Or another option is a portable air conditioner like the one I have over there. When you grab these air conditioners, make sure you don't grab in the back where the fins are those can slice your hands open real quick. So just grab it on the outsides or even from the bottom. And these things are deceptively heavy. They look like they're not that heavy, but they really are. This thing right here is about 60 pounds and they range anywhere from 40 to 140. So if you get a larger unit, that thing's gonna weigh like 120 pounds. So you may need to get some help putting it in. Okay, so we have the window air conditioner in, and as you can see, we have a slope, which is good, but this is way too much of a slope. So we're gonna have to raise this thing up a little bit. Our little frame that we made here is a little bit too low. So what I think we're gonna do is simply add some wood on the bottom of here to raise this hind end up just a little bit, but not too high because we still want that slope. You want the back end of the unit to be sloping downwards. I'm not too worried about the unit kind of floating in the middle like that because the brackets right here, these metal protruding parts, they're actually in the windowsill here in the track. So the AC unit can't slide out this way. So even if I pull on it like that, see, it's stuck there. So the main purpose of this frame of the bracket is to just hold the weight of the unit in the back. And for the slope, you could just eyeball it. I think my slope was a little bit too much, but it's okay, it should work. Basically, when you're looking at the slope, you just don't want it to be level. Having it level is not good. You do want it to be sloping downwards. All of these window air conditioners are made to fit a whole variety of different kinds of windows. So expecting it to perfectly fit into your window is unrealistic. Almost every single time, you will have to modify it just a little bit to make it fit nicely into your window. So in my case, having a window bracket or a wood bracket like mine is okay. But if you're on the seventh floor, you may need to add a little bit more besides just the bracket. For example, one more thing you could do is put a piece of wood to this lip right here. So usually this lip over here, on a window that slides up and down, that window would slide right down and go right here. And that kind of holds it in place. But since our window is side to side, what you could do is take a piece of wood, cut it out to size and slide it in to these tracks right here and place it right in front of the lip. Of course, if you do that, you will have to screw that piece of wood 
into the side of the windows. That's the only downside. But as usual, there's more than one way to do things. So if you got creative, I'm sure you could figure out a way how to do it even without using screws. Now I'm simply gonna make sure that my unit is centered in the window. We got six and a quarter here, almost seven inches here. Let's actually move this over just a little bit. Then we're gonna stretch these accordions out. Normally you would put a screw in over here into the window itself or into the frame of the window and another screw over there and two on the bottom. And even here, I mean, if I wanted to put the screws in, as you can see with my type of window, you can't. So you would need to add another little piece of wood on the bottom just to put these little screws in. So what I'm gonna do instead, since I'm not gonna be putting any screws into the window, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of this foam, the provided insulation foam, to about the length of my accordion and slide that in there. I don't want any of it sticking out. There you go, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And now what we need to do is stretch out the accordion and put a screw in here to hold it in place in that stretched out position. So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it and look at the screw holes. And that also compresses the foam. There you go. Oh, if I could get that one right there, that second one that's showing up, that would be perfect. And last but not least is to measure the opening on top of my window air conditioner and cut out a piece of plywood to put in and then paint it white or whatever color my wife wants. But of course my wife said, absolutely not. That's gonna look really ugly. So instead what I did is got some plexiglass my opening was 32 by 34, but of course yours is probably gonna be different. Once you have your measurements though, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and they can cut out whatever dimensions you want out of plexiglass. It's usually covered in a hazy little sticker, but once you peel that off, it looks clear as glass. Really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Oh, perfect fit, perfect fit. I was worried for a second. Nice. By the way, if for some reason you did cut it a little bit too large, you could simply use a razor knife to trim it a little bit. It's probably not gonna look as awesome, but it'll get the job done. And optimally, I should silicone the edges of this and just kind of glue it on via the silicone, but I don't have any clear silicone right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use some scotch tape. For this side, I just cut that weather stripping foam in half. And I'm gonna cram that in there and that will hold it even better than any silicone or tape. And just to make sure it's completely sealed up, I'll stick some of this in here too. Okay, so this is the end result. I gotta admit the tape looks pretty bad. We're gonna have to do some clear silicone there. But for now this will work. I put the weather stripping in all the gaps and cracks. But I gotta say the plexiglass looks really nice. I've also discovered that I have a gap on the bottom here between the bracket. So I went ahead and cut out a piece of foam strip and I'm gonna cram it in there. And guys, really all we're doing is, one way or another, get the window air conditioner in there and secure, and then you just try to seal up all the gaps and all the holes so that the air from inside cannot get outside and the air from outside can't get inside, along with the bugs and everything else. This accordion insulation is super sticky. It's the kind of stuff you don't want to take off after you put on. So hopefully I won't miss it from my first try. It's kind of weird how they did this. But once again, it must not be for this style of a window. I'm probably gonna go ahead and just cut this off with the knife. And here we have the finished installation of a window AC unit without any of the screws fastened to the windows. When you're plugging the air conditioner in, you don't want to use an extension cord and the outlet that you're using for the air conditioner should be dedicated for only the air conditioner and nothing else. 
In my case, I didn't use any of this putty stuff and that's because my unit is under a canopy. So mostly you wanna really seal it up if your unit is completely opened up and a lot of rain is gonna be getting on it. You don't want any of the rain to be getting inside the house. So you wanna seal it as much as you can inside the house here so none of the rainwater gets in. And one question that people often ask is, is it okay for the unit to be in the rain? And yes, that back part of the unit, it's okay for it to be in the rain, it's fine. And by the way, that's one more reason why you want it sloped downwards. Any rain that gets inside of the unit can then drain out from the back of the unit. All that's left is to give it a test run. So let's power it on and see how it performs. It still amazes me how quiet this unit is. These inverter air conditioners are so much nicer than those old ones. The ones I used to have were monsters and they were super loud. And it's very efficient too. It's a 15 seer. So that's like central air efficiency. That's not bad at all. When the unit is running, even outside, it's pretty quiet. Right now it's working, it's in cool mode. And one thing I wanna point out is the self evaporating feature, which I really like. You might be able to hear it, but besides the rumble or the regular noise of the AC, you can kinda hear a what sounds like a water slushing sound. And that's actually normal. What happens is the condensate, the water starts to build up on the bottom of the drain pan and the fan is built in such a way where it scoops that water and slings it on the coil, which also increases its efficiency. If you don't like that sound, it's not very loud, so I don't see why it would bother anybody. But if you don't like it, you could take out the drain plug and have the water drain like a normal air conditioner. I did not know that this window AC had that feature. So I was planning on actually maybe putting a bucket here because this area is like a big patio. I wouldn't want it dripping a big puddle over here. So I was thinking, you know what, either make a drain line or put a bucket here so it drains into there. But since it has this self evaporating feature, that's perfect. I'm just gonna leave that plug in and let it do its thing. Another thing I forgot to mention is that if you have a storm window that has like a little guard outside of it or a frame, you will need to put a piece of wood, like a two by four or something, on the windowsill to raise the whole unit up to get over that guard or the rail that's outside of the window. And regarding storage in the winter, if you can, optimally, if the winters get cold wherever you live, you do want to take your unit out for the winter and just close the window. If that's not an option for you, or if setting this up was such a hassle that you don't wanna take it back out, you're just gonna leave it there for the winter, Try to seal it up as best you can. And they also sell little window air conditioner covers that you could buy on Amazon that you could slide onto it on the inside to help prevent the cold air from getting in. And of course, if you live in an area where the winters don't get very cold, well, then you can just simply leave it in there all the time. To wrap this video up, I was gonna go over all the features and modes that this particular window air conditioner has for those that are interested but it has quite a bit. It would probably take me another five minutes to go over that, which is a bit too long. So for anybody that is interested, what I think what I'm gonna do is just simply take a picture of a few of these pages that go over all the different modes and what this thing can do and add those pictures in the video so you could pause it and read up on it if you'd like to do so. Overall, my first opinion on this unit is pretty good. We will be leaving it, we will be using it. It's nice and quiet. I might do a little bit of a modification for the looks of it, the cosmetics, to make it look a little bit better and maybe seal it up a little more. But other than that, this is pretty nice. By the way, I also have a video on the Drio portable air conditioner, how to install that. So if you're interested, check that video out as well. Perhaps that could be a better option for you. It was not handling our big area, like for the whole house, that portable air conditioner was not enough. That's why I also put this in. I also bought two tower fans by Drio as well. And so far, these Drio products have been performing very well for us. But if anybody watching has a different experience with them, please let us know. And that is all I had. If you have any comments or questions about anything you saw in this video, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, let me leave you with a couple of dad jokes. Why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Because then it would be a foot. Ever tried eating a clock? It's very time consuming.